<laughs> You're the one Gianna recruited to rescue her son. She said you were on your way. Look, I'll point out her husband, but that's it. He seems jumpy, and I'm not risking my neck. Where's the man and the kid? Hey, hey, Kendrell! Somebody wants to talk to you. Do I know you? What do you want with me? I'm here to take your son back, so your wife can send him to Korriban. My wife is so determined for our son to become Sith that she hires a bully to threaten me. I was once an acolyte at the Academy on Korriban. There's no failure at the Sith Academy. Those who can't cut it die. I got wise and fled before they could kill me, and I'll die before I see my son eaten alive by those Sith dogs. Let me take my son and flee. Tell my wife that you persuaded me, and we took the shuttle to Korriban. She won't know any different. I'll tell Gianna you took your son to Korriban. Oh, thank you. We'll leave right away, and you'll never hear from us again.
what's this? A lawman of sorts? Never thought I'd see the day dashing Vex would get cornered by a brute enforcer. You break Imperial law, you pay the price. Ha! <laughs> but I know something you don't. Vex is not your ordinary run-of-the-mill thug. Oh, no. Vex is the galaxy's greatest quick-draw artist. Vex can shoot your ears off so fast, you won't even hear yourself scream. Show me. Cheater! Use my tricks, you'll get the big bounties and the fat pay. Where's my son? I thought I told you to get my son back. I took the liberty of putting him on the shuttle myself. Oh. Okay. Sorry I raised my voice. It's just, you know, a mother cares deeply about her son. But how did you manage to convince my husband? Honestly, I think he knew what was best all along. Oh? Maybe so. I... I guess married people sometimes forget how to talk to each other. But at least my son's future is assured. Thank you very much. And here is the promised payment. Alzheimer's, I'm... Jory! Brayden! What happened? Is the old man... Somebody is going to pay for this. 
No. The old man's really dead. But, but he... Oh, oh damn it! Wait, you had something to do with this. Watch your mouth, little girl. Remember who you're talking to. I I'm sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. It's just... I've been with Brayden for years. I, I know you didn't have any reason to hurt him. And I just can't believe he's gone. There must be some way to find out what happened. You're right, there is. Jory and I set up surveillance gear all over this room. Whatever happened here should have been recorded. Fire up that monitor. Let's figure out who did this. Blast it. Someone's tampered with the recording. I can still get some of it, though. Here we go. Move it, you're dead. Now, if you know it's good for you, you're gonna back out nice and slow. Oh, I know precisely what's good for me. Winning the Great Hunt won't merely be good. It will be splendid. When I win, the entire galaxy will know the name Taro Blood. And I'll charge extravagant fees for my services. Won't I, Seddon? The highest in the galaxy. Only the filthy rich will be able to afford you Taro Blood. I've heard of you. Nearly got crippled by the other Mandalorians at the Great Hunt ten years back. Ah, yes, that. An unfortunate bit of history. This time, I plan to win. Of course, that will be simpler if my competition doesn't include rivals beyond my fellow Mandalorians. The Twi'lek Vibrablade Master from Ord Mantell? Gone. The Chiss Droid Builder fond of explosives? Gone. That just leaves your protege to remove. Kuta Chuta, Kasuyali Kunira, Kanki Kum. You misunderstand. The rules forbid killing competitors before the allotted hour. Thus, the promising up and comers I mentioned are very much alive. I simply eliminated them as threats. And how does one slow a charging Gundark, Seddon? Blast his legs out from under him. Destroy the upstart so called crew. I'll be outside, innocently unaware. Jory, shoot the kill! <laughs> Too late, old man. That scum. He didn't even have the guts to kill them himself. He had his lackeys do it. Coward. The big mouth running the show claimed he was tarot blood. He's a big shot even for a Mandalorian. When he started out, Tarot Blood was major news. Rumor says everyone united against him when he tried the Great Hunt. This time he's stacking the deck in his favor. If what he said was true, he's already nicked some other competitors. Tarot Blood barely survived elimination from the Great Hunt last time. He was out on his back for years. Major squash, you know? If Blood's determined to win the Great Hunt, our best bet of catching up to him is getting you in that competition. I'm here to win the Great Hunt. That hasn't changed. The thing is, Brayden spent all our credits getting us here. We're stuck on this stupid planet. Nemro the Hutt is the only boss with enough clout to sponsor you for the Great Hunt. We need him more than ever. If nobody knows Brayden is... is dead, I should be able to get you a meeting with Nemro. This'll take every favor I can call in, and I'll need the tags from your bounty. It should be enough for two burials. That should cover it. I'll do something nice for them. At least as nice as I can manage on this cesspool of a planet. I did everything I could to build your reputation, but now... You'll have to make an even bigger impression. Nemro's enemies are all over town. Take out some leaders before you visit the palace, and you'll score points with the HUD. <laughs> 